Hey guys, this is Danielle Fischel and you're watching Fan Lala. It's always nice when the original Boy Meets World cast members come back to work on Girl Meets World because they're just so incredibly professional and they know the characters so well that it doesn't take any time. It's still, it's funny, you know, when, when Ryder came back, I remember him being a little nervous, like, I wonder if Sean is going to come right back to me. And Will had a lot of the same nerves, like, I wonder if Eric is going to be right there. And sure enough, you just, you step foot on the set and it's like, they pop right back into character, which is pretty remarkable considering it's been 15 years. So it's great. And Bill Daniels comes back. He's always nice to see as Mr. Turner. And, you know, Anthony Tyler Quinn comes back as Mr. Turner, which is great. Did I say Bill played Mr. Turner? I just heard myself say Mr. Turner twice and knew that's not right. Bill Daniels is Mr. Feeney. I don't know. Forgive me, Bill. Well, in season one, we kind of, Topanga is, you know, still obviously loving being a parent, but she's also hard at work as a lawyer, which we never really got to see her too much in her element, except for the episode where she was in Sforsky's Bakery. And that's kind of what opens the door for her to have a whole new storyline in season two. She ends up taking over Mrs. Sforsky's Bakery. And um, it's kind of, it's nice. I'm looking forward to it because it's another set for Topanga to be able to engage with her kids in, as opposed to just the kitchen table. Topanga makes a lot of dinners on Girl Meets World. I'm excited to see her in the Topanga set having something else to do. Just, we've only, we've done so far 12 episodes in our second season, and I can tell you that it's by far, it's different than the first season, and that first season had a lot of good lessons. Second season lessons really jump up a level. Like, they're, they require a little bit more thought, they're a little bit deeper, and yet they're twice as funny as I think the first season ones were. So to me, that's when you have a really good show, when you've got a deep, important lesson wrapped up in so much fun and jokes that you didn't, it doesn't even hit you until later what you just learned. In season one, the last episode you saw Riley in um, was First Date, and her and Lucas are kind of up in the air. Um, and then in season two, we resolve that whole relationship, which is great. Um, and yeah. 